hello friends welcome to this video so in this video we are going to build a password cracking tool for ssh basically a dictionary attack against ssh with the help of parameco module in python so in this video we are going to use our previous program that we have previous program parameco ssh it's a simple pro, uh, program for creating ssh client for a specific host for which we know the username and password and with the help of this we are going to uh, create an application to get the correct username and password it's a basically a brute force attack it's a search we just going to have a file these are a username password file uh, so it has some of the com combinations the first one is the username then is then a password so these are separated by colon and each line have only one username and password so this is one two three four five six seven username and password combination your list can go you know because here we are only for a demo purpose so we have only take seven samples so let's copy this program because we need this program only And we need to make some small changes in this program only. Let's change the machine address. So now my machine has different address 43.173. Let's check it once again 192.168.43.173. <coughs> so let's do one thing. Let's uh, enter an incorrect username so that we get an exception. And with the help of that exception, we are going to build our uh, script. So let's run sshh take dot pl. So it's going to give an exception condition. So it has given an exception authentication failure condition, and the exception is parameco dot ssh. Uh, parameco dot ssh underscore exception dot authentication exception so let's go into our file so first we need the file the password file the username password file so let's in first we import the sys module and then we open the file read so we have the file descriptor now let's read each line in the file with a loop. So now we have each line. Now let's separate out the username. The username password is equals to line dot strip dot split. So let's separate out the username and password. So the uh, variable up uh, is an array which first contain the username and the password. So now we have the username and pa password. Now here we are going to use the exception condition. Let's try against this host and the username is going to be user and password is going to be passwd now if an exception occurs exception as let's copy this exception condition and if this exception occurs this means that uh, we entered the wrong username and password It should be except not exception. Print incorrect username. Let's capital the U of the username. Percentile S and password. Percentile S. Let's print these two variables.
Now the else condition. If the error exception doesn't occur, this means that we have the correct combination of username and password. So if we got the correct username and password combination, let's run a simple command on it, which is cat and view the PASS WD file. Now let's run that. Now we have got the correct username password combination, so we need not to try the rest. So we will break the loop here. So this is simple script uh, of 29 lines. As you can see, you can say 30 line, nearly 30 line of code. And with the help of this code, you are going to break an SSH username and password. Break an SSH authentication. So now let's check if there is any error in it I don't think so there is any error let's run it SSH checked SSH here passes the file so you can see it has a syntax error here set So now we haven't got any error. So you can see our script is working and it is uh, giving us the incorrect username and password combination. So you can see it is the script has been run and shown as the PASSWD file. So you can see the correct username and password we have got which are MSF admin, MSF admin and which are of the meta exploitable to virtual machine which is this is running concurrently. So you can see how easy it is to make a SSH uh, authentication uh, breaking tool with the help of Python. If you just do it, uh, make the simp this tool in some other language like C, then it will be very difficult for you to build it because uh, you need to understand all the protocol and structure and the uh, basically low level functions related to the networking. So Python is a good uh, language for building a proof of concepts uh, where you do not want to deal with the low level functions but if you are uh, want to know about the low level function like protocol its function structure so um, you you can go to the C language or other language or you can just study them and then come back to python and just build your own stuff and it's not that you need to only run this simple command you just you can just do anything else just uh, run a process in the background or just uh, or just create a malicious files or a create a backdoor through which you can gain access to the system another time so i think that's all for this video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel for future videos and if any if you have any query then please comment below thank you